Adventure Ahead. The National Broadcasting Company presents another in the stories of famous stories for the young of all ages. Adventure Ahead. This week, a tale of piracy and courage in the days of Napoleon. Based on one of the classic books by G.A. Henty, master storyteller of another generation, titled One of the Twenty-Eight. And now, adventure ahead. year 1812. The clouds of war hung heavily over England. The armies of Napoleon threatened all of Europe, and everywhere was trouble and unrest, even on the sea. For in those days, the oceans were beset with pirates, picaroons, corsairs, who sailed with death before the mast and laughed at law and order. Drink up, pirates! Here's to our ship, the Belmarie! The fastest slavery of the float. No British man of war will ever catch us. And what about the captain, eh? What about Captain Skelly? A toast! A toast! A toast! A toast! This is the greatest buccaneer of us all, the Captain Skelly, king of the sea. That's what they call me, king of the sea. I could outrun, outfight any ship afloat, and there's no man alive I'm afraid of. Why, right now, we're straight into the channel under the noses of the English and the French, too. <laughs> twenty guns and eighty men, and our twenty-eighth voyage to the Indies. The world is ours, men, to kill, to steal. <laughs> So do it as we please. <laughs> yes, they were a swarthy crew of renegades, marauding buccaneers, sailing under the Jolly Roger. But for young Ralph Conway, he wasn't thinking about pirates that afternoon at his mother's cottage near the sea. Yes, Mother. My, you didn't waste any time getting home from school. <laughs> I'm anxious about my fishing trip tonight, Mother. Mr. McDonough stopped by. Said his boat would be ready about 9 o'clock. Good, I'll be there. And how was school today? Oh, just fine, Mother. Only a few more weeks to go, and then... You still want to join the Army, Ralph? Oh, yes, Mother. I want to go over on the continent like Father did and fight against Napoleon. Oh, son. You're too young to be a soldier. I'm 16. 16? Is that an age for dealing with men? Dangerous men, fighting men. I'm not a child, Mother. Someday, perhaps, you will be a soldier. A brave man like your father. But for now, you have much to learn. Yes, Mother. I want you to be careful, son, on these little trips with Miss McDonough. There's so much trouble on the water, so many ships about. Pirate ships, men of war. <laughs> I'll be all right, Mother. Nothing will happen to me. <laughs> Snug off, sir? Yes, Mr. McDonough. Good. Be helpful to an old fisherman having a lad like you along, too. Especially on the black night. Certainly is dark and cloudy. Aye. The mist rolling in from the ocean, too. I should think you'd be lost out here, Major McDonough. How do you know which way you're sailing? Oh, instinct, lad. Instinct. <laughs> we'll get back to the village, all right? <laughs> I hope so. Keep your eye lifted, though, lad. Not many craft about these waters, but we might tumble against one. Watch out for lights. I don't think I could see a ship's light in this mist. No. And what's worse, ships nowadays don't always carry lights, either. Oh, I thought they had to. There's a law, a sea law. Aye. But in war times, it's not always convenient. What do you mean, Mr. McDonough? Well, a peaceful merchantman don't want to show her lights to 
any privateers that may happen to be cruising about. And you can be sure the pirates don't sail with lights. Oh. Yeah, sea folk prefer risking the chance of running into each other rather than be caught by some privateer. And are there any pirates here on the channel, Mr. McDonough? Are there? Well, it's hard to say, lad. Yes? Probably not. Oh. But there's uh, apt to be some merchantmen around. You'd better keep a sharp watch for light. Yes, sir. We'll start bringing in our nets in a few hours. That'll keep us busy till we start for shore. Ought to get a fine haul of fish, Ralph. I hope I can come out again with you soon. Well, I, I don't see why not. That'll be fine. Well, you uh, like the sea, do you, lad? Oh, yes, Mr. McDonough. I wish I could sail the seas in a big ship. A regular wind jammer. Oh, uh, I thought you wanted to be a soldier. Well, I, I do, sir. That is mainly, but but it's exciting out here on the water. Even if it is so dark and... Listen. Uh, yes? Listen. That's a ship. A ship nearby, lad. Yes, I hear the noise, but, but I can't see. There it is. They're coming right at us. Look out, man. It's bearing Look down on us. No light. Help. 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 Oh. He don't look so good. He's ducking, but he's still alive. Ah, meet his throat and throw him back in, I say. Ah. He looks more dead than alive. He'll come to all right. Uh, Mr. Easy McDonough. now, lad. Easy there. Oh. Where am I? Boy! He's just a boy. Looks to be strapping enough. Oh. Probably could do more work aboard oh. the ship than you, Pedro. Bah! He'd better not get in my way. Oh. Oh. Easy, lad. I... Easy. So dark. The water. What? Where am I? You're safe enough, lad. You're aboard ship. You bore down on us, our boat. Mr. McDonough, where is he? You're the only one I managed to save, lad. Someone else in your boat? Yes, a fisherman. We must save him. Too late for that, lad. Never find him in this mist. And you save me? Aye. But who are you? Well, my name's Jack. I'm just another... Well... Just another hand aboard the Belle Marie. I'm most grateful to you, Jack, for saving my life. It's all right, then. As soon as you can put me ashore, Put I'll... ashore? Why, yes. You'll never be put ashore in England from this ship. You're aboard the brigantine, Belle Marie. The Belle Marie? Under what flag? The Belle Marie flies no flag. A privateer? Aye. And since you've cast your lot with ours... Best we go below and meet Captain Skelly. So, this is our visitor, eh, Jack? Aye, Captain Skelly. Just as I fished him out of the water. Mm. Well, lad? Yes, sir? Explain why you ran down my ship. What, sir? You ain't deaf. Sir, I was in a boat, a small boat, a fishing smack with a friend of mine, and you ran us down. What's that? Nobody contradicts Captain Skelly. If I say you ran into the Belle Marie, you ran into the Belle Marie. But th that's not the way it happened. Why, it, it was... You don't look like a fisherman, not in those clothes. No, sir, I'm not. I was only out for a night's fishing, and I was going What's to... What's your go name? Home. Ralph Conway. From Dover, Captain Skelly. I... Well, it'll be a long time till you see Dover again. <laughs> I'll mark you that. But, sir, can't you put me ashore somewhere? Ashore? Uh, Bell Marie don't put into any port for passengers. Why, there'll be British men of war down on us before we hope to. But my mother, sir, she'll be worried. Oh. Jump overboard if you like. That's one way of leaving the Bell Marie, eh, Jack? <laughs> I'll even provide a plank so you can walk over the gunnel. Oh, if you want, you can stay aboard. What do you mean, sir? Uh, the crew's short-handed. We, uh, 
Had a few accidents with some of the men. Right now, we can use a good strong lad. But you mean... You mean be a pirate? Pirate be blowed. We've got our old hands for overhauling merchantmen, doing the dirty work. But we need an able seaman with a long trip ahead to the Indies. The Indies? San Domingo, Jamaica, Tortugas. Our 28th trip. Think you want to burst? Well, I... Mine is not the choice, sir. Uh, it'll make a man out of you. It will, sir? You'll learn a lot about the world aboard the Belle Marie. Yes. And you'll find the buccaneers ain't as bad as landsmen think. Of course, we don't mind killing or stealing when we have to. But aboard ship, we've got our own law and order under my command. As long as you do your work and don't try to escape, you'll be treated fair and square. Yes, sir. Take him forward, Jack. Sling a hammock for him. Aye, Captain. I'm turning him over to you, Jack. He's in your charge. Aye, aye, sir. And I expect you to make a seaman out of him. Right along there, Conway. Break out the spinnaker. Yes, sir. Ahoy, the lost! Send the yard! The yard! Yes, sir. Conway! Yes, Captain. From now on, you're assigned the starboard watch. Well, Ralph, what do you think of the Belle Marie after a month at sea? Oh, she's a fine ship with all the canvas out. And moving fast. Privateers have to be fast, lad. And the Belle Marie is the lightest and fastest of them all. Provisions are running low, Captain. Aye. Strip the deck for action. Aye, sir. We'll lay to and wait for merchantmen beating up in the southwest wind from Greece. Sardinia. Rich prizes, those ships. <laughs> Quiet aboard ship today, eh, Ralph? I thought pirate ships were always fighting, plundering. Well, not always. Big ships like the Belle Marie wait for big prizes. Oh, I see. Captain Skelly's after... Waiting here for merchantmen loaded with gold or silver or silk. Seems strange for a ship to be laying to without a square of canvas when the wind's blowing fresh. Yes, but we'll be fast enough underway when the captain sights a likely prize. You'll see action soon enough, lad. Why, we'll probably overhaul and strip a dozen ships before we reach Tortuga. Our destination? Aye. It all seems terrible to think about, Jack. Stealing, killing people. Yes, yes, it would to you. But I've had to get used to it, even though I hate it. You seem to be a decent sort of seaman, Jack. How did you get to be a pirate? Well, lad, five years ago when I was just an ordinary seaman, the French threw me in prison on a trumped-up charge, and I escaped. From prison? Yes, I was desperate. But after that, I had no sea papers. I had to work at something. And since I knew no other trade, it was either this or starve. But I don't like it, lad, any more than you do. I thought you felt that way. I'll have no part of their dirtiest work. Looting, killing. I'm here mainly to keep the ship on the sail. Just like you. I still dream of escaping. So do I, Jack. But I can see it won't be easy. You're right, lad. Of course, it'd be free if a British man of war would overhaul us, but that's not likely. As long as Captain Skelly sails the brig. The ship's been lucky not to have been captured or sunk by a warship. It's not luck altogether, lad. Whatever else he is, the captain's a real sailor, though a sly one. And with our great spread of canvas, there's not a ship afloat that can overtake us. Yes, the Belle Marie is a good ship. Fallen into bad hands. That crew, Jack, are so brutal. Yes, Frenchmen, Moors, Portuguese, Indians from Ceylon, half caste. Every man is apt with an oar as a knife or a belaying pin. What about the captain? He's a vicious, bloodthirsty man when he's around. Jack, do you think he'd kill me if he caught me trying to escape? Still thinking about escape. Yes, and every day since I've been aboard the Belle Marie. Is there a way, Jack? Not an easy way. I must get back to England. Some way, somehow. Patience, lad. Wait till we reach the Indies. Then take your chance. But is there a chance, Jack? Is there? Where? 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 Where
A ship on the starboard. A prize ship, Jack? Likely. All hands! Break out the AFC! Trim along! Trim the yard! Yes, there she is on the horizon. Aye. Ah, must be a merchantman. Look alive here. Look at our canvas to overtake her. And when we do, I'll make them wish they'd never run from Captain Skelly. <laughs> And the cannon! Met all the cannons we're closing in! Could you fly? Captain, they're surrendering. They've struck their flag. Well, give them a broadside anyway. Break that deck from center stern. I've got no time for prisoners. Down, down with the men! Cut them down! Use your knife! No! No, don't kill me. No, I'll bargain for my life. Anything for my life. Oh. Anything aboard is yours, but tell my life. Uh, all right, what do you offer? Here, the key. The key to the gold chest. The gold, eh? Here, take it, but spare my life. All right, I'll take your key, but as for your life... <laughs> very big. No. Just one hill rising up at this end of the island. Aye. And Jack, that's a landmark for the Belmarie. A landmark? There's a concealed channel, a narrow inlet at the base of that hill. Yes? A narrow passage leading to a small harbor, the only protected harbor on the island. But I can't see it from here. No. The entrance is well hidden. So is the harbor. Why, the Belmarie can lay to for weeks if we want. And never worry about a man of war. Don't the British warships know about it? Oh, they patrol these waters once in a while, but they suspect nothing. It's amazing. A secret harbor. Big enough to hold five or six ships the size of the Belmarie. It doesn't seem possible. Looking at the coast from here... You'll see a lot of things your eyes won't believe after we sail through the narrow channel. What do you mean? Storehouses. Buildings. Sheds. Filled with the loot from a hundred oh. ships. Gold. Silver. Precious gems. Spices, silks from the Orient. Why, Captain Skelly's been using this base as a rendezvous for over 15 years. And all the loot is stored right here on the island of Tortugas. Get a move on there. Break out that cargo. I haven't got all day. Lively there. Aye, aye. You there. Conway. Aye, aye, Captain. I want to talk to you. Come into my cabin. Yes, sir. Now then, Conway. Yes, Captain. As soon as our booty is unloaded, I'm sending most of the crew ashore for a day on dry land. You and Jack can join them. Thank you, sir. But don't be getting any strange ideas in your head, young man, about running away, escaping from the Belle Marie. No, sir. Uh, it's plain to me you have no stomach for a pilot's life. There's not much you can do about it. We saved your life two months ago in the channel. And for that, you owe us a debt. 
You understand? Yes, sir. I expect to keep you a prisoner on the Belle Marie until that debt is paid. Attempt to escape, and I'll catch you and kill you. Seems like we'll never reach the top of this hill, Jack. Uh, I never knew it was so high. Bell Marie looks awfully small back there in the harbor. Aye, lad. She's a long way off. But from the way Captain Skelly talked this morning, I expect he's got his spyglass on every move we make. <laughs> Aye. You still thinking about escaping? Every minute I'm awake, Jack. But I suppose it's hopeless. Aye. It is that. Well, almost to the top. Aye. Almost. We ought to be able to see a great distance from up here. Aye, but there'll be nothing to see but miles of ocean. Why, there isn't Jack. a... Jack! Jack, look! Eh? A ship. Look, a ship. A ship? It... It is a ship. A man of war. Standing toward the island, too. A schooner? Aye, and... And British! British! What's she doing here? I don't know. Do you suppose they know about the Belle Marie? How could they? But they must suspect they're dropping anchor. Ah, see there, Jack? Aye. Now, that's strange. But they're not putting over a boat. Then they can't know about the hidden channel, the harbor. No, perhaps not. But they could be told about it. Eh? If they knew about the Bell Marie and the secret harbor, they could attack and capture the pirates. And we'd be free, Jack. We'd be free. But how can we tell them? Everyone on the Bell Marie can see us up here. We can't signal the warship. No, but there, there must be something we can do. Well, I... I... No. No, lad. That's our chance of freedom out there, Jack. We can't stand by and do nothing. But, Ralph, the only way to reach that man of war is through the channel the way the Belle Marie sailed in. That's true. And Captain Skelly's mounted guards on each side of the entrance. If we tried to slip through, the men would see us, fire on us. Yes. In the daytime, they would. But what about after dark? After dark? We might get through. <laughs> it's... It's too risky, lad. Besides, if we did slip through, the warship might be gone by nightfall. That's a chance we'd have to take. But it's worth it. I don't know. I... I'm afraid. I'm willing to try it, Jack, if I can get a long boat from the harbor beach. Are you with me, Jack? I... I want to go, lad. But I'm afraid to break away. Afraid of what they'll do to me, Captain Skelly and the crew, if they caught me. Then I'm going alone, Jack. Tonight, I must get to that man of war. I only wish I had your courage. You won't tell. You won't tell where I've gone. No, Ralph. You can trust me. And more than that, I'll see that you get a boat. Carter. I must reach that ship. I must. Who goes there? Who goes there? He hears me. But can he see me? Reach up or I'll fire! And you took me aboard. That's the whole story, Captain Arnold. Mm. I see. You must believe me, Captain. I've had no part in the piracy, and neither is my friend. But, uh, but your story is incredible, young man. How do I know that you're telling the truth? Sir, I've risked everything to come aboard this ship tonight. It took me nearly three hours to row that short distance, from out of prison to freedom. You must believe me, sir, else why should I want so to return to England? Well, I, I don't know quite what to say, Master Conway. But if what you say is true, it may be fortunate indeed that you found your way out to us. How do you mean, sir? My ship's only mission is to search out privateers, pirates, and freebooters. And I've been after the Belle Marie for over two years. But because she's so sleek and fast, I must admit, I've never even caught sight of her. Then this is your chance, sir. To capture her before she can spread canvas and get away. This time she's fairly trapped. Hmm. And you say she's hidden in a, a sort of sheltered harbor that can't be seen from a distance? That's right, sir. How many men aboard her? Roughly 60, sir. About 20 were lost at sea or 
killed by Captain Skelly. Sixty men. Fifty of my crew should be an even match for them. Tell me, Master Conway. Yes, sir. Uh, would you lead me and my men through the concealed inlet to the Belle Marie so that we could attack and capture Skelly and his cutthroats? Why, of course, sir. Good. I think that will prove your loyalty to the king and uh, earn you a passage back to England as well. Oh, thank you, sir. We'll get underway within the hour and make use of two important weapons, darkness and silence. Yes, sir. I plan to attack all points at once to take every one of these scoundrels alive, if I can, for chains at the yard arm. Not every one of them, sir. Eh? Oh, oh, your friend. Yes, sir. If you could spare Jack, he's a good man. <laughs> I'm asking you again, Jack. I'm asking you again. Yes, Captain. What happened to that boy, Conway? I don't know. I watched the two of you this morning up on the hill. I knew you must have been plotting something. Where did he go? What happened to him? I don't know. I can't tell you. I'll make you talk. You see this knife? Speak up, Jack. For the last time, I'm asking you, where's that boy, Conway? I'm asking you for the last time. And for the last time, I'm still saying, I don't know. Very well, Jack. If it takes cold steel to loosen your tongue. Oh, no, you I... don't, Captain Skelly. Uh, what's the... Ralph, you made it. Yes, we're here, Jack. I'll relieve you of that knife, Captain. One way, I'll kill you for this. I would... No, I don't think you will, Captain Skelly. Your days of killing and thunder are over. Take him, men. I... Oh, stand back. Well, Master Conway, it looks as though we've taken the whole ship without so much as firing a shot. Uh, the whole ship? I'm afraid so, Captain Skelly. Uh, you'll never take me out of my way or I'll... Uh, he's dead, sir. Dead? Aye, lad. We've saved the government the expense of bringing the renegade to trial. And you avenge the death, Captain, of hundreds of innocent men. Aye. <laughs> Thanks to young Conway here... And I might say, young man... Yes, sir? If there was ever any doubt of it, I think you've proved yourself a man tonight. I have, sir? You have indeed. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I was a boy once myself. And I have an idea you'll do just as well in the army when you get back to England. They need men like you. Thank you, sir. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you were right there in fighting with the troops that finally whipped Napoleon. Napoleon. <laughs> 